So in competitive inhibition, you were very aware that someone else was trying to get with your friend. They were doing exactly what you were doing, exposing themselves to your friend, spending time with your friend the exact same way that you would. In non-competitive inhibition, it is a little different. The person who's trying to get with your friend does not say that in public, doesn't make it known, and doesn't text them or even speak to them in public. What they do instead is they text them in private and they say, hey, you shouldn't be friends with Demi because she's really dodgy. And if you're friends with her, you might get in trouble. And what that does is it changes the attitude of your friend towards you to such an extent that your friend no longer wants to form a bond with you. This is non-competitive inhibition. In non-competitive inhibition, the inhibitor doesn't bind with the enzyme at the binding site, so it doesn't compete at all with the substrate. What it does instead is it binds at a different site called the allosteric site. Once that bond is formed, it changes the shape of the binding site such that the enzyme is no longer able to bind to the substrate. In most cases, this type of inhibition is non-reversible.